Right. Okay. Hi. This is the second part when we talked about the Linux USB. Of course, this is about Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing my Bitcoin, running it into my keeping my private keys in cold storage, and how I'm doing it. With the Linux way, you use the USBs that I discussed before. You have the hardware, the computer system, and the USBs and the software that's on there. You make sure the computer's offline. What I realized a while back was the phone is the same thing. I have the hardware, I have the SD card, and I have the software. All I had to do was get that software under this hardware, which I have done. So, this here is an offline to bitaddress.org, and if your compu complete computer is offline, you run it up and it will print you out a paper wallet. It will give you both the keys. So here, what I have here on my other hardware is this exact same thing. And luckily with bitaddress I can do this until it hits 100 and then it will shift just like that other one to give me my private keys. With all of this hardware you take your trousers or your USBs and you plug them in and you get them off. With my hardware I take an SD card and I plug it in and I get it off. I can then use this to print a paper wallet. So the difference between all of what I've done is I've taken all this hardware which you have to find a PC and I put it all on a portable device. And like this hardware has no Wi-Fi, this one has no Wi-Fi. This one can't do data, this one. I simply took all the data off here, like you would on a Linux system for Bitcoin. It's all the same. The only difference being is now I have this 100% portable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this because I wanted to show you the rest real fast. And Richard says I have real slow time. So this is a list of my files on the phone. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if you can get down here and see this, Richard. Okay, I've generated these addresses, and then I made them. These are all the addresses I've generated. I've used this over the last month, this device, without a PC, to store cold storage keys offline. This is a list of a lot of keys that I have and have not used, some of them, to transfer Bitcoin over the last month. I made a profit at Bitcoin. And I made me a new device that I can take fishing. Okay, all of these right here. See if I can find one that doesn't matter. Usually there's one in here somewhere, not in that list. Here's more, okay. And I'm not going to show, yeah, here's one. Okay, so I got the two keys, the private key and the other key. Now you can take my stuff off. I don't care, I'll move it. I really don't care. It's five bucks, you can have it. If you'd like to donate, you can donate to that key for now until I move it. Um, anyway, I guess I shouldn't have showed you that, but it doesn't matter. The point is, is I have this with all my keys in my pocket. This is all I have ever used over the month. I have never used a PC since I started this. As soon as I looked at the PC, I knew I wanted it smaller. I knew I wanted it on the go. Okay, This belongs in the open source community. A phone has a Linux kernel. That means that the open source community can write you at ease programs for ease of use on a small device that you take and you put your stuff in cold storage and it's never seen online. Okay, whenever I want to get it off of here, I take a picture of the private key with my phone, send it to Coinbase wherever.